Welcome to Chapter 5, Module 2, Price Elasticity of Demand. In Segment 2, we will discuss the relation between price elasticity and revenue. What will you learn in this segment? You will learn how to calculate revenue. You will learn how to identify revenue in the market diagram. You will also learn how price elasticity of demand determines if revenue increases or not when the price increases. Before we start here is some important terminology. You might know most or all of these terminology, but it is very important, therefore I decided to review it here. Quantity is measured in units like gallons, pounds, pieces or pints. The price of a good is measured in US dollars, at least if we are in the US. The price tells us how much one unit of a good costs. And revenue has to be distinguished very clearly from quantity demanded or quantity supplied. Because revenue is the value of a quantity of a good sold or bought and the value is calculated by using the market price. Here is an example. Let's assume somebody buys 50 cans of coke for 30 cents each can for a party. The price is 0.3 dollars per can of coke. The quantity is 50 cans and the revenue is 15 dollars. We got this revenue by multiplying 0.3 dollars with 50 cans of coke and the result was 15 dollars. Based on this example, it should be very easy to find the formula for calculating the revenue. What did we do to calculate the revenue? We multiplied the price of 0.3 dollars with the quantity of 50 cents. And this is exactly the formula for the revenue. Price times quantity equals revenue. The next slide will answer the question, can we see the revenue in the demand diagram? Yes, we can. Although there is no revenue access in the demand diagram, we can identify the revenue in the diagram. You learned already that if the price is P0, the demanded quantity is Q0. When we found these results, the auxiliary lines we used together with the axis created a box. The area of this box measures the revenue resulting from the price P0 and the quantity Q0. How can we prove this? First we have to ask how high is the green box? The height of the green box is actually nothing else than the price P0. Then we have to ask how wide is the green box? The width of the green box is nothing else than the quantity Q0. So what is the area of the green box? We calculate the area by multiplying the height with the width of the green box and the result is the area of the box. But look, if we multiply P0 by Q0 this gives, by definition, the revenue. Therefore, the area of the green box represents the revenue generated from a price P0 and a quantity Q0. The central question of this segment is, what happens if the price increases? Is this good or is this bad for the revenue? Let us assume the price increases from P0 to P1. A higher price alone would result in a higher revenue because the height of our box would increase. But when the price increases, the quantity demanded goes down and a lower revenue would result because the width of our box would decrease. To find out if the revenue overall increases, it comes down to the question if the price increase was stronger 
then the quantity decrease. If this is true, then the box would gain more in terms of height than it would have lost in terms of width. If this is not true, then the box would have gained less in height than it lost in width and the revenue would decrease. In geometry terms we could say if the height increase of the revenue box could outweigh the loss in width, then the revenue increases. In economic terms, if the price increase outweighs the quantity decrease, the revenue will increase. Otherwise, it would decrease. Here is what we have so far. When the percentage price change outweighs the percentage quantity change, the revenue will follow the percentage price change. We can prove this with the revenue formula. If the price increases a lot, but the quantity decreases only a little, then revenue will increase like the price. Therefore, the revenue followed the change of price. This is not only true for price increase, it is also true for a decrease in price. A large decrease in price, which triggers only a small increase in quantity, will lead to a decrease of revenue. When the percentage price change outweighs the percentage quantity change, like here, the revenue will follow the price change. The revenue will fall as the price did. In contrast, when the percentage quantity change outweighs the percentage price change, the revenue will follow the quantity change. If the price increases, but the demanded quantity decreases a lot more, then the revenue will follow the quantity change and decrease. This is also true for price decreases. If the price decreases, but as a result the quantity increases a lot, the revenue will increase. When the percentage quantity change outweighs the percentage price change, the revenue will follow the quantity change. In this case, quantity and revenue both increased. What if the percentage quantity change is the same than the percentage price change? When the percentage quantity change equals the percentage price change, the revenue will not change at all when the price changes. The price increases, quantity demanded decreases, but both effects are equally strong, therefore the revenue will not change. The same is true if the price decreases. The price decreases, quantity demanded increases, both effects are equally strong, the revenue will not change. Here is a summary for the first case we covered. The percentage price change outweighs the percentage quantity change. When the price increased, although quantity demanded decreased, revenue increased. When the price decreased, although quantity demanded increased, revenue decreased. But under which circumstances does the price change dominate the quantity change? The answer is when the amount of the price elasticity is smaller than 1. Here is the proof. If we have a big price change and only a small change in demanded quantity and we divide the change in demanded quantity by the price change, we will get as a result a number which is smaller than 1. In the previous segment we called this price inelastic demand. Always when price elasticity is inelastic, the price change will dominate the quantity change and the revenue will move in the same direction than the price change. In contrast, 
when the price elasticity is greater than 1, the quantity change outweighs the percentage price change and the revenue will follow the quantity change. If a small price change results in a big change of quantity, the quantity change will dominate the revenue. But if we divide a big change in quantity by a small change in price, we end up with a number which is bigger than 1. In the previous segment, we called that price elastic demand. Finally, we have to cover the case where both effects, the price and the quantity effects, are equally strong. Under these circumstances, no matter if the price will fall or increase, the change in quantity demanded would always exactly compensate the price change and revenue will not change at all. If the percentage price change is exactly the same than the percentage quantity change, and we divide these two, then we will for sure get a 1 as a result for the price elasticity of demand. And we call this kind of price elasticity unit elastic. Please use the revenue formula and the formula which defines price elasticity to answer the following questions. After you have answered all the questions on a piece of paper, proceed to the next slide to see if your answers are correct. If not, review this segment and try it again. I strongly recommend not to learn the cases by heart, because questions in the midterm, the final and in the quizzes, will be asked in a way that understanding is required rather than learning things by heart. Please compare your answers with the correct answers. In case you answer two or more questions incorrectly, review this segment and try it again. If all questions are correct, please proceed to the next slide. What did you learn in this segment? You learned about the definition of revenue you learned how to identify revenue in the market diagram and you learned how price elasticity of demand determines if revenue increases when the price increases.